I'm not going to explain this now, but there's a link in the description that should be enough explanation for you as it is, but there'll be a video explaining it um, later, maybe in a week or two. No promises. But until then... What's this week's word of the week? I'm just going to... Uh... There. Hello and welcome to another interesting word of the week. This week, I have to say, has been one of the most difficult weeks I have ever had to try and find a word for. So difficult, in fact, that I've used multiple words just to try and flesh the video out just a little bit more. So instead of flicking through the dictionary to find an interesting word of the week, since there's only one page, and I kid you not, there is literally only one page of X words. There's only two in the Theosaurus, X-Ray and Xmas. So I've selected some other ones that I found they aren't necessarily in here, but I found them quite interesting. The first of which is, I think, one of two words that are actually verbs that begin with X, and that is Xerox. I believe it's pronounced Xerox. This, this week is going to be very difficult for me to get them right. So the first word is Xerox, which is a verb, or can be a verb, to print. And it comes from a company called Xerox who, I'm supposing, specialises in printing things. Like Google. Google's become a verb to search for. That's obviously a brand name. It's kind of like that. The next word is exantho, which is a combining form meaning yellow. Like exanthophil. Exanthophil. I'm definitely saying that wrong. There is two versions of exantho, and the other one is exanthi, or exanth. I think it's exanth. I'm really sorry, I'm butchering your name. I'll actually Google this one. Xanthi. Xanthi. I apologise incredibly. Um, the, so it's probably xantho. I don't know or Xerox. I don't know how to pronounce these words. They're not in the dictionary. I can't make the computer say it for me. <laughs> but anyway, Xanthi is a um, another derivative or another version of Xantho or Xantho, uh, meaning yellow, and it means blonde slash yellow or fair-haired. And it's actually one of your names, isn't it? The eccentric English G. It's your name kind of devoting this video to you. And my last one is kind of a cheat verb, it's um, X itself. X is a verb to um, cross out, so you X something, or Xed something is to cross it out. Or to mark something incorrect, you would uh, put an X against it, you would X it. Or it's also to indicate a choice in kind of like a ballot or a general election, where you will X something that you want to happen. Which is a bit weird really, how X can have a positive and negative connotation in the same kind of sense. You put an X next to it and it could mean positive or negative. There is literally virtually nothing I can say. I think this definitely is the shortest episode I've ever shot. So I think I'll leave you with a little snippet. Um, the opening scene with this camera was also shot with this camera and it will be uploaded. You can go and see it if you want. There's a link in the description to the channel that I'm putting them onto. I'm kind of doing like a video diary, the kind of like I mentioned in the last episode. I'm doing a video diary and I'm trying to document my life. I'm not very good at it yet. I've got to warm up and obviously get better. But um, that's happening now. There will be a video purely devoted to explaining it and creating the story that will interweave the two uh, channels as well as possible. So that, that's an option. I wasn't even going to say that, but I literally there's not much to say about these words. If you have any words that begin with Y or Z, I will be most appreciative tiv, 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 if you would let me know what they are and maybe give me a helping hand, like uh, Xanthi did for this week, because I wouldn't have noticed Xanthi in the dictionary. And uh, yeah. So, to wrap up this incredibly short interesting word of the week that didn't actually involve many interesting words. Well, actually more interesting words than all of the others, but less information about those interesting words. Uh, you can click last week's video, which was Wassel, by clicking in the top left, left hand corner of the screen. And also you could click in the top right hand corner of the screen to see next week's word, which will be why, and very difficult to pick a word for. So hopefully you can help me on that. But yeah, you can click up there to find out what that week's interesting word of the week is. Yeah? Till next week, or maybe on this channel if you want to pop over now or wait for a week or two. I'll catch you later.